The paper we've published sets out post-Brexit evidence and examples of UK government ministers increasing control over Scotland's devolved powers and imposing legislation without the consent of our nation's parliament at Holyrood. The government at Westminster has taken decisions in devolved matters such as public service spending. They've blocked legislation passed by our Scottish Parliament to help make the process for obtaining a gender recognition certificate easier and implemented the Internal Market Act against the wishes of both the Scottish and Welsh parliaments. The Internal Market Act has made it more difficult for our Parliament to bring in environmental protection measures like the single-use plastics ban and our deposit return scheme. It also means Scotland may have to accept products from elsewhere in the UK that do not meet our safety standards, like genetically edited food. But it wasn't always like this. Before the Brexit referendum, UK governments did not pass new laws affecting Scotland's powers without consent of our Parliament. However, the current UK Government has since passed legislation affecting devolved areas without consent nine times, and it's expected to do so again with the retained EU Law Bill, ignoring the views of Scotland's democratically elected representatives and putting animal welfare, workers' rights and food standards at risk. Taken together, the evidence and examples set out in this paper demonstrate a worrying trend. In obstructing the choices made by our Scottish Parliament, the UK Government is eroding devolution and the self-government the people of Scotland voted for.